Hello, in this video I'm going to be tying a few concepts together. Um, we're going to be doing more um, solving of matrices uh, to find the x coefficients. And uh, when we're going to be thinking about when that can work and when it can't. And to do that, we're going to be referencing our, what we just learned about the column spaces. So in general, when can we solve for x? Um, in general, we have some sort of ax equals b, where a and b are known, and we're trying to solve for the coefficients x. Um, now it actually turns out that these two questions are different. When can we solve for x? And when does this work? Uh, there are cases, and I'm going to show you at least one today, um, when there is a solution for x, but np.solve um, doesn't find it. So I want to ask in general, when, when is there an answer? And then the second question is, when does np.linearalgebra.solve uh, find it? So we'll review the example we looked at before. And I want to start trying to, uh, tying together a few more concepts um, uh, a little bit tighter. So in general, in the world, we have data, right? Data comes from observations. For example, when we were selling our fruit baskets, um, we would sell baskets with different quantities of fruits, and they would auction for different prices. And every time we made a sale, that was another observation, another piece of data, another row in our data frame. And it turns out that every observation you make in the world uh, gives you another equation. Right? And that equation might help you solve for some underlying variables that you know help help you model a world. Right? So when we have these three sales, right, I can convert those to three equations. Ten apples and zero bananas um, sold in a basket for seven dollars. That means that ten times the number of apples plus one times basket value um, equals seven. Right? I have those three equations because I made three sales. And then what we saw is that um, we can express all of these equations as a matrix. We can put these numbers, which came from our data, in a matrix A, and then we can have an x vector, which represents our three variables, apple, banana, and basket, and we can solve for those. And so what does that look like? Well, here's my A. I can see 10, <clears throat> 0, 1 here <clears throat> for the first sale. And then I can see the three prices I have here, seven, five, five. And um, usually, right, when you have three equations and three variables, um, you can solve for it, and we do. We figure out that um, apples are worth 50 cents, bananas 25 cents, and baskets worth $2, right? So there's this equivalence here um, between data, equations, and matrices. And um, in terms of when we can solve these things, uh, there's three statements are the same um, at these three levels. Right? I could say that there's a solution to the system of equations. That's the same as saying there's a solution for x and ax equals b. Um, and, and that's kind of independent of whether np uh, linear algebra can solve it. Right? If there's a solution for the system of equations, well, then there's also a solution for x. Uh, well, when is there a solution uh, for x? Exactly when b is in the column space of a. Right? So I'm going to try to show this. Um, by coming up with a slightly or trickier example, I'm going to head back here and, and grab this piece again. And, um, and let me add one more fruit basket. And, um, and for this fruit basket, let's say that um, there, there are 10 apples. And, um, and let's say there's four bananas. And, uh, and as usual, there's always one basket. And how much would that be worth? Well, I guess it's... Uh, 10 times 0.5 is $5, $6, $8. I'm going to put 8 here as another price. Okay. And it turns out that uh, NumPy, the linear algebra solver in NumPy, uh, cannot solve it uh, because it wants the uh, data, the data set, to be square, which is kind of funny, right? I mean, how often do you happen to have a data frame where you have the same number of rows and columns? That's certainly the exception. Right, so this only really helps us solve uh, this system in special cases. But indeed, there is a solution here. And how can I show that? I can, I can do this. I can say a dot, and um, I can use the same x I had before. Let me just grab this right here. I grab this. I can multiply it by that. Same thing I had before. But let me just simplify this a little bit, if you don't mind. You can multiply it by that, and um, it's actually numpy dot array, right? And what do I do? I get that those same values, right? I get seven five five eight, 
which were the exact prices, right? So when I'm doing this, right, let me, let me actually just put X here to make it very clear. Right, I'm gonna multiply it by X. When I multiply A by X using the dot product, that means I'm taking a linear combination of the columns of A. And when I did that, I find out that there's some linear combination of A that gives me these B values, right? So there is a solution, right? Uh, linear algebra and, and NumPy couldn't solve it, but indeed there is one, right? And this means that there is also um, a solution to uh, that system of equations. Now, let me make this a little bit um, trickier here. And, um, and what I'm gonna do is, that was all, all good. I'm going to add another sale of that same basket, right? So the same basket is selling twice. But of course we know there's noise in the real world, <clears throat> right? Let's say that that last basket sold for eight and this next basket sells for 8.5, right? When I, when I multiply A by X, I'm taking a linear combination of those columns and, uh, and, and guess what? It, the numbers aren't adding up anymore. Let, let me just kind of uh, I'm gonna show it like this across two different cells, right? I do that and, uh, oh, I, I said I wanted it to be 8.5, excuse me. Now I, I'm in a pickle, right? Because however I combine these things, I'm going to be getting the same value here as I am here, right? Because these rows are the same, right? So no matter what values I put for X, no matter what values I choose, I can try it as long as I want. I'm never going to get two different values here, but that's what the data shows, right? So this first problem, right? When I just added one more row, that was enough to confuse NumPy, right? NumPy can't figure it out anymore. When I add some inconsistency or noise in the data, there just simply is no solution, right? The prices are not in the column space of, of, of A, right? So I can't solve that no matter what, okay? So, so here's the problem we have, right? When we have more rows and column in our data set, that means we have more equations than variables. And usually when we have more equations and variables, that means we're too constrained and there is no solution, right? Not always, right? I saw showed one case where I can add an extra equation without too much trouble. But usually the equations are not going to be solvable and B is not going to be the column space of A, right? Which is horrible, right? Because this is most data we have. Usually there are more rows um, than columns. So what do you do when you encounter a problem uh, that you can add, not find the solution for, right? There is no solution. A good approach is to change the problem. Okay, try to solve a different problem. But well, don't just try it to solve any problem. We want to choose a problem that is as close to the original as possible. So we end up with some sort of meaningful solution that gets at what we really want. And so what we're going to be doing next time is we're going to say, okay, maybe B isn't in the column space of A, but can we maybe find a different vector, not B, but some other vector that is in the column space of A, and then we solve for it, and then that's the same as solving the system of equations, right? So we can come up with uh, values for our variables that are still meaningful.